Last week I was in a client meeting and the client looks over to my partner and asks her, did he have too much coffee or is he always like this? You know, if there's one thing I'm not gonna apologize for, it's being passionate. This week's episode is about passion. Love what you do. Let's go to Chicago, shall we? Boom, back in Chicago. If there's one thing I'm not gonna do is apologize for being passionate about what I do. All right, this week in Chicago today on Monday, heading to New York City for a couple of days. Thursday is gonna be bonkers, leaving New York, going to Denver for an all day meeting and then end up in Seattle. And then Seattle meetings on, on Friday before I head to St. Louis, uh, for, before I head to St. Louis for the weekend. So, gonna be another crazy week. Made it to ORD, the bar Bukabak. Heading to Orlando, Florida for our tax management conference, teaching and learning, see vlog two or three. What is this? It's my vlog. You're going to be in my vlog. Oh, wow. Great. Next week. All right, great. Bye. <laughs> Made it to New York. Flights were on time. Senator Bernie Sanders was on my flight. If you refer to one of my earlier vlogs, this is not a political vlog, so I will reserve any comments or judgment. But uh, you know, always neat to share a flight with a uh, active member of the U.S. Senate. Pretty cool. People ask me, Doug. How did you know you wanted to be an international tax accountant? Or how did you know you wanted to be an international tax lawyer? This my first semester, second year in law school, I took a tax class. And it was really the first time in law school that something came really easy to me. My first year in law school was really a grind. I hadn't really done the writing that a lot of my peers had done. But that tax course really opened my eyes. But more than the tax course itself, it was this professor that I had, Professor Cecil. She was such an inspiration, taught the course in such a fun and energetic way that really, really piqued my interest. After my first year in law school, before I did an internship, I took a month off. I went to Europe and had did a 30-day backpacking experience, frankly, topped off a some of the student loans, credit cards, and took the opportunity to, to go to Europe. But it was really during that 30-day experience that I fell in love with international travel. I realized, why not try to combine my passion for international travel and the fact that I enjoy tax and do international tax. So I sought out after my second year in law school, to go do an internship with one of the big four public accounting firms in international taxation. So the moral of the story is find something you're good at, find something that you enjoy, and take a spin in. Christmas market, 2016. Merry Christmas, everybody.
one of the things that makes me the most passionate about my work is the people that I work with. I'm getting ready to go to dinner with a bunch of colleagues and partners from Atlanta and DC and Miami and really looking forward to it. So if you love who you're working with, you're gonna have passion for what you do. day. Let's see what a 4,000 mile, 20 hour day feels like. Be passionate. Apparently it's 3,000 miles, not 4,000 miles. First leg. Made it to Denver. Head to the office. Back to the airport. Yep. It's 5.30. I'm in Denver Airport. It's an airplane inside the airport. It's great working with good people and nice people and fun people and that really makes me passionate. But when I go back to that internship that I talked about a little bit earlier, I had the opportunity on during my internship to work on a couple of big deals and transactions and I like the pace and the excitement and I love being on conference calls with people from Japan and people from London. And the way I make the world a better place is one individual at a time, one relationship at a time, trying to be a positive influence in people's lives. And that, that, that gives me passion, that, that helps motivate me and it's really why I enjoy what I do. <clears throat> I made it to Seattle. All right. So we made it. God, every time. We started this vlog by saying I wasn't going to apologize for being passionate. And still not ready to apologize and passionate about what I do. The point is, is not everybody can be a professional baseball player. I mean, I appreciate not everybody wants to be a professional baseball player. That's what I wanted to do and it didn't really work out for me. So apparently my second best gig is international tax. I challenge you to find your passion. Find what inspires you. Find what challenges you. Find a group of people that you enjoy working with. And ultimately, you will find that passion. And it may take some time, right? It may come early, but be patient. But a career is a long time. And find that passion. Heading back home for the holidays. Gonna enjoy some time with Kelly and Jody and Lucy and my mom. I wish all my viewers out there a very, very Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah and whatever you may or may not be celebrating. Subscribe, mash that like button below. Give me a little bit of love here, people. What? Hello? Give me a little bit of love here, people. It's the holidays, and next week I'll be staying in St. Louis, hanging out with the fam, and we're gonna talk after, particularly after the last five or six vlogs that you've seen, a little bit about work-life balance and what that means to me and how I found my mix and. Really, this will be coming off my busy season with all the travel that I've done. So uh, we'll be able to reflect a little bit on, on the year, on the new year, um, and what work-life balance means to me. So 
subscribe, mash that like button. Thanks for joining and happy holidays. Love iced tea. Love iced tea.